Hello, my name is Hassan Dashti and I'm a postdoctoral research fellow at the Massachusetts General Hospital. I'm excited to share with you my grant application titled Assessing Metabolic and Sleep Consequences of Overnight Home Parenteral Nutrition, or PN. Back in 2015, during my clinical dietetics training, I learned that patients on PN are routinely fed for 12-hour periods overnight. That conflicted with emerging findings from the field of chrononutrition, suggesting that considering the time of day in clinical care and management is necessary to optimize health. Studies primarily from healthy populations indicated that eating at night is not aligned with our biological clocks and might actually be disruptive to our circadian rhythms and our sleep. Current guidelines from Aspen and other societies give no explicit guidance regarding when nutrition support should be provided because of the lack of evidence. So the objective of this grant is to examine a novel dimension of clinical nutrition termed chrononutrition. Using state-of-the-art technologies and techniques, including continuous glucose monitors and wrist accelerometers, we will study how overnight PN affects glucose metabolism and sleep. This will be done in a group of 20 patients who routinely cycle their home PN overnight. We will also advance the timing of their feeds from overnight to daytime regimens for one week. Based on my other studies, I anticipate to see great improvements in their glucose profiles and sleep quality. I'll be leading this work with an incredible team of research scientists, physicians, and dietitians. And results from this clinical trial will ultimately guide us on when we should be feeding our patients moving forward. Personally, this grant will allow me to advance towards being a leading and independent nutrition researcher at the intersection of nutrition and chronobiology where my research program will be focused on understanding the role of food timing as a risk factor for cardiometabolic disease. Lastly, I'd like to thank the Aspen Woods Research Foundation donors for making this important research opportunity possible. Thank you.